Preparing for a tragedy isn't easy. This river right here is running about four times faster and has about four times more power than it did on this day last year. But these rescuers are training on how to help someone in an extremely deadly situation. The reality is that if they have to respond out on a water rescue, they're really coming out on a water recovery. That underscores just how dangerous it can be to fall in running water. We ran into Trent Simmons and his kids. Trent knows the danger firsthand. It's scary. I've fell in in waders fishing before, and it's scary when the water you have no control and you're just going downstream. Officials stress personal responsibility and say restricting access isn't feasible or welcome. Why not restrict access in some way during dangerous times? Yeah, th this is Utah, and uh, and and it's you know it's the West. Restricting access to to recreational opportunities is is not a, not a welcome. Uh, effort. Usually people uh, want to make their own minds up. But with that freedom comes, yeah, that personal accountability. There's also the push to carefully watch over kids and pets. It's something Trent Simmons had in mind the moment he pulled into the park with his kids. Say, so as soon as we got here today, I said, you guys don't get too close to that stream. It's going pretty fast, huh? Yeah. yeah. You did say that. Yeah, I did say it as soon as we pulled up. Yep.